Let's welcome my next guest, North Dakota Senator John Hoven. Great to see you, sir. You know, sir, mm -hmm. in crises like these, it's it's always you can't go out and make statements like like Europe is now saying because you get fact checked and overrun immediately. Europe's case is now exploding to nearly 23,000. Thousands now believe dead. Spain is the next hot spot after Italy. Your reaction? Well, Liz, good to be with you. And remember, the president made that decision based on the best advice that he got from the doctors and from the professionals at HHS. And remember, the objective is to reduce the spread of uh, the coronavirus. And if we can do that, then we get, we get over this problem sooner, and then, you know, people can travel more freely. Uh, European officials claim the president is politically motivated. They're condemning him. But the EU is not condemning the six European countries in the, EU, in the EU also doing travel bans. They include France or the 23 countries around the world also doing travel bans. Also not condemning the, the nothing out of Europe about condemning the Czech Republic, Slovakia too, closing their borders. El Salvador, El Salvador now shutting its borders. Mexico may restrict its border with the U.S. Your reaction? Well, see, again, this is about the health and safety of our people as well as people in these other countries. So the objective, not only here in America, but globally, is to reduce the spread of the contagion. And again, this is on the best advice of the health care professionals. Yeah. President Trump did talk about maybe a U.S. domestic travel ban. He's, he's saying he's keeping all of his cards on the table. If an area gets out of control, he's going to do what he needs, he mm -hmm. says, to do to protect the American people. He came out pretty powerfully with that national emergency declaration. Let's move on to this. I want to take a listen to what former Lieutenant Colonel Carafano, Lieutenant Colonel Carafano told us last night about this subject. Watch. Why we have delayed the getting here is because we really restricted travel from China. Um, two places they didn't do that, Iran, where literally everybody's dying, and several European countries, particularly Italy, which has a large Chinese migrant population, which all came home after the Chinese New Year and brought the disease with it. What about with Europe, when there's already well, a lot of communities? All right, well, I think that was a prudent choice. We spent a lot of time thinking about it, discussing it, about whether we should do it. And it was the right public health call. And here's the numerical reason why. If you look back early on, Chinese travelers who were infected seeded not only the United States, but countries in Europe, including Italy. And you know, the heat map we showed earlier proves that out. It turns the density of the red on it, shows how, chi how it came out of China and started spilling not just into Europe, but into Australia and now crossing into the US. Your reaction? Well, that's right, and that's why it's so important that the president did move early on to restrict uh, travel from China, and, and obviously that's made a difference. And he's continuing to really take a whole of government approach, not only these travel restrictions, Liz, but you saw today, you know, he's now issued the emergency declaration, he's got all of the states involved, and he's got private enterprise involved as well what with a new, faster test and uh, new ways to deliver that test. Yeah, we've got silence from Joe Biden, nothing from Bernie Sanders about what the president announced today and with all of that. What are your quick final word on New York City's Democrat Mayor Bill de Blasio saying, yes, the president was right on the travel ban. Your word on that? Well, and that's good. We need to come together and, and not only in a bipartisan way, but all of government and the, the P, our great people, as well as our, our companies, everyone working to, to solve this problem. Senator, great to see you. Come back soon.